Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here from Hybrid Fitness and I'm here with Coach Kathy. Hi. Kathy, what are we doing today? We're gonna talk about slowing down the tempo and consistency. Right on. We're gonna give you three exercises that you may have been going a little too fast in. We're gonna break those down for you step by step. So you get the most out of your exercise, your workouts, you get stronger and you reduce that risk for injury. Here we go. All right, so the first movement that we're going to do is a renegade row. Kathy, what muscles does the renegade row work? It works your belly. Yes. A lot of your belly. So you're also gonna work your arm, your tricep in the back as you pull it up, but it's really that belly that we're gonna focus on. This is an exercise that a lot of people will go extremely heavy in, and while you are using that upper body, right a lot in this move its primary goal primary goal is to strengthen your core so you only need a little weight yes just a little weight so kathy let's go ahead let's do an, an exaggerated example of what we don't want to do in a renegade row okay here we go <laughs> All right, so you see here, Kathy's letting the weight slam down. Her hips are going side to side. Her, her wrists are out in, out in front. You know, she's getting a great cardio workout right now. And that's okay. Her face is beat red because she just got a lot of cardio. But yeah, but that's not the goal of a renegade row. The goal of the renegade row is to stabilize that core. And yeah, at the same time, we'll work that upper body. So now let's slow it down a little bit. And I want you to look how Kathy's aligned. So see here, her hands are directly below her shoulders. Okay, her head is facing towards the ground. But let's look at her back. See, she has that normal lumbar curve there, but it's just a little, it's not exaggerated. Her glutes and her core are tight and she's got a nice stable base there at her feet. So now go ahead and perform the movement, Kathy. Okay. So now notice as she's doing this, her whole goal here is to maintain that hip posture. Her hips aren't going side to side too much. And we, I'll actually joke, you know, I want to put a glass of wine right on Kathy's hips and don't want it to pour over, all right? And I think I could do that right now. Yeah, so you can go ahead and rest, Kathy. Cool. So renegade row, think about keeping those hips stable. Now, if it's hard for you, there's a few things that we can do. One thing is we can widen your feet out wider. Kathy is here, if you go wider, this is gonna give you more of a base and help you perform this move correctly while still strengthening your core. Eventually, you'll be able to bring those feet back in. Another move that kind of makes me nervous when I'm coaching a class is the plank jack. And the reason why it makes me nervous is because it's very easy to hurt your lower back. You really need to keep that belly nice and tight, right? Engage those belly muscles. Like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach, you're gonna tense those up while you're doing your jack to help you protect that lower back. So we're gonna slow it down. You wanna, you wanna show them what it looks like before oh. without hurting yourself? Yeah, the exaggerated version? Yes, All the right. exaggerated version. Yep. <laughs> See his back's falling down. He's got his hands out too far in front of him. Right. I know it's, so. it's very hard. It's very hard to do, to do it that way. Um, it's actually easier to have correct posture to do it. So his wrists are directly under his shoulders. He's going to stretch his legs out. Yep, everything is snug and tight. And he is going to just jack out and back. So notice his upper body isn't moving, okay? It's just the legs that are coming out and back. It's a little tiny hop, just side to side, okay? All right, that's perfect. Now the third exercise we see that often gets butchered in our classes, uh, not for long, but uh, is the Russian twist. And the Russian twist really strengthens your obliques, the muscle responsible for allowing you to rotate, but also to help you resist rotation uh, in your daily life. And so, Kathy, why don't, why don't you show us a, a butchered Russian twist? Okay, butchered Russian twisters. <laughs> All right, so you see how her feet are flailing, right? Uh, oh, they're up in the air. Yeah. She, she, she looks a little angry, <laughs> but also she's getting so much rotation in that lower spine. And in reality, our lower spine is not supposed to rotate 
a lot there, you're putting yourself in a risky position. So what we actually wanna do here is slow the Russian twist down. When you sit up, Kathy, I want you to roll those shoulders back and down. Mm -hmm. Okay, and think about, imagine I was about to punch you in the stomach, right? Yeah. I won't do it, but you're gonna tighten your core right up. Okay, and now just very slowly, side to side here, right? Leaning back a cool. little. So this exercise is just as much about resisting that weight on the twist back as it is creating the force back up to the center. You can lift the legs. Lift the legs to make this a little bit harder. Yes, you can increase the weight, but we want to keep this slow. If you go fast and you're jerking that lower back around, you're just putting yourself at a higher risk for injury. So guys, those are the three moves that we see uh, often are uh, sped through a little bit too much. Just slow it down a little bit and you're actually going to feel your muscles work more. You're going to get more benefit and you're going to most likely not get hurt. It's going to keep you safe and we need you healthy. So if you like this video, make sure you click the like button down below. Leave a comment if there's any exercises like this that you think we should do a version two of, because uh, I know Kathy, she, we had a lot of fun doing this. And finally, if you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. We really need your support. We want to get the word out. We want to help people. We can only do that if you enjoyed this video. So have a great day. Remember, small steps, big results. I think another thing to keep in mind, speaking of minds, while you're doing these exercises is to connect your mind with the muscle that you're going to be working. So if you are supposed to be working your tricep muscle, really think about your tricep muscle. And when, when you slow down your exercise, it's actually a lot easier to do that. You know, you're really going to think about the ab muscles, you're going to think about your triceps, your biceps, your quads, whatever big muscle that you are working, just really Really keep that in mind and you will feel a difference.